What is up you guys? For today's video, we are going to be using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Jawbreaker Palette. And let me just say, I have the coolest look planned out in my head. I'm thinking about maybe doing like a pastel rainbow. That's kind of like what I have in my head and also what I watercolored last night. Because like I was looking at the color story and I was like, what am I going to do tomorrow? And then I looked and I saw all these beautiful pastel shades and I was like, yes, we are going to use pastels. I do not remember the last time that I did a pastel look, so I thought it would be really fun if we did it. And also, if you'd like to see my original review and first impressions, on this palette, I will link it in the description box down below for you. And also, if you haven't already, I would really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button down below. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram account is at lethal underscore kin. And on Instagram, I post seven days a week with a ton more tutorials over on there if you are looking for some inspiration. And first things first, for eyeshadow primer today, we are going to be going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. Literally, I am so obsessed with this. And I'm applying maybe about a pea-sized amount onto the back of my hand. Something about like that. That'll be more than enough for both eyes. And I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and then start buffing it into the eye. And I just kind of like apply it and then kind of like move it around like in a stippling motion. So once you have your eyes primed and ready to go, the first shade that we are going to be going in with is called Brain Freeze. It's a beautiful kind of like mad baby blue shade. And then with this shade, I'm going to be applying it into the crease of the inner third of my eye and then doing little circular motions to blend it upwards towards my brow. And you really want to make sure too that you are only keeping it into the inner third because we are going to be applying more colors here. And I'm just using a Luxie 229 to do this. But seriously though, like I'm obsessed with this color. It is so beautiful. A lot of times these like pastel blue shades are super chalky, but this one isn't. So I really enjoy it. Not to mention the color is absolutely gorgeous. Like I mean like look at that pigmentation. Now I don't know if you guys are like this too, but this blue is such a mood to me. Like leave it where it's at, do like a beautiful like inner corner highlight with a thick wing. I think that would be honestly gorgeous. But that is not the look that we are doing today. So I'm just going to go into this shade called Bubblegum next. So with this pink, I'm going to be applying it into the outer third of my eye. And I'm just doing like little circular motions to blend it upwards towards my brow. And I'm also using it to kind of like round out my outer V a little bit too. So I'm pretty much like focusing it into the crease and then blending it upwards. And you just want to leave like a little bit of a gap between the blue and the pink. But like I really love that shade. Like it is just honestly so gorgeous. I remember when I used it with the mini jawbreaker and I absolutely fell in love with it. But like, dang that, it's gorgeous. I don't know if you guys are like this too, but every time I have like blue and pink eyeshadow on, it always reminds me of Elvira, and I absolutely love her. I think she's just so funny and so beautiful. But like, every time I wear these colors, I always think of her. And I don't know, like, I just feel like pink and blue together are such a mood. Like, I don't know if you guys are like that too, but they are some of my all-time favorite colors to wear. So once you kind of look like Elvira, the next shade that we are going to be going in with is called Gumdrop. It is a beautiful kind of like pastel lavender shade. So the brush that I'm going to be using is from Luxie Beauty. This is their 209 Large Shader Brush. I seriously love their brushes so much. But this is like one of those brushes that's kind of like thicker on one side and then thinner on the other. So how I'm going to apply it is I'm going to have it the long way. So up and down and then I'm just going to take this purple and then shimmy it right between the blue and the pink. And I'm just doing back and forth motions between the two colors. And this will help blend them together and also give us a little bit of a purple pop. And you don't want to do like the full way either, you just want to like focus it kind of where the colors meet. And if you want to further blend the pink into the purple or the purple into the blue, what you do is you just take whatever is left in that brush that you originally applied either the pink or the blue with. And since we are going to be working with the pink, I'm just going to use the brush that we had the pink on. And I'm just doing little circular motions over that harsh kind of line that we have between the purple and the pink. You don't want to go like full in, you just want to kind of focus it on that harsh line. And this will just help you really get that like softer kind of like gradient fade that we're looking for. But like girl, like this is totally giving me like cotton candy vibes and I love cotton candy like so much. And I need it like as soon as possible but it's so hard to find like really good cotton candy. But like I am literally obsessed with this. Like no joke, I love this so much. So here's where I'm at right now with the look and honestly I really love this combination. I really think that pink, purple, and blue are just so beautiful together. I was going to add just a little bit of like cherry wet in this outer V but honestly I was like doesn't that take away from like the pastel type of like vibe that we're going for so I'm just going to leave it even though I really want more definition. But either way though off camera I'm just going to cut my crease using that Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer that we used earlier. So here's where I'm at right now 
after cutting the crease and let me just tell you I am seriously so obsessed with the cut crease like a sharp one oh my gosh literally it gets me so excited and you also want to make sure that your primer is 100% dry before you start doing this but we are just going to be going back into this shade called bubblegum right here and then with this Luxie 227 I'm just going to be like fluffing and kind of pressing this pink down in this outer kind of V area just to kind of get rid of that harsh line from the cut crease just to blend everything in as well. I'm just doing like little circular motions and then like little patty motions. So once you have that done, the next shade that we are going to be going in with is this beautiful kind of like neon peachy shade called Foxtrot Unicorn Charlie Kilo. And then with this Real Techniques shading brush, I'm just going to be applying it into the outer third of my eye. And I'm really like pressing it on as well. And I'm kind of like overlapping it a little bit with bubble gum. Because I really want like this peachy kind of like hint. It's so beautiful. I really love that. Dang, that shade is gorgeous. I feel like I look like rainbow sherbet right now or like a funfetti cake. I don't know if you guys get that vibe too. But the next shade that we are going to be going in with is this beautiful kind of like sunshine yellow shade called Wow. And then with this yellow, I'm going to be packing it right on top of Foxtrot Unicorn Charlie Kilo, like right on the edge. Just to kind of like blend it into that white base that we have. I'm just doing like little tapping motions as well. But yeah, I definitely look like Rainbow Sherbert right now, which I actually really enjoy Rainbow Sherbert, so I'm totally okay with it. But like, ooh, like this look is totally coming together and I'm just so excited about it. But seriously though, I am literally obsessed with how this is looking right now. But to finish up the lid, we are just going to be going into this matte white in the palette called Virgin. And then with this shade, we are just going to be packing it anywhere that the base is still showing. And I'm really making sure that I'm like pressing it in as well. I'm not doing swiping motions. But like, girl though, this is such a mood. I am just, oh my gosh, like literally probably one of my all-time favorite looks I have ever done. So here's where I'm at right now with the look, and seriously, I am so beyond obsessed with it. Like, you guys have no idea. I'm not even done with it, and I can already say that this is one of my all-time favorite looks I have ever done. And with that said though, off camera, I'm just going to apply like my foundation, my concealer, and all of that. Ooh, girl, like, I literally look like a thing of rainbow sprinkles, and I am loving it. Like, no joke, this is one of my all-time favorite looks I have ever done. And also, off camera, I did apply this ColourPop Gel Liner Pencil in the shade Exit. I've never done, like, a white waterline before, but I thought it would be really fun to try it out today. And also, with that said, we are going to start working on the lower lash line. And the shade that we are going to be going in with is called Gumdrop, which is that matte lavender that we used earlier. And now with using that Luxie 231 Small Tapered Blending Brush, I'm just going to take Gumdrop and apply it right underneath the lower lash line. And you really want to make sure that you meet it up with that pink shade as well, just so you don't have any weird gapping. Not going to lie though, it took me a couple minutes to decide like what to put underneath the lower lash line because I didn't want it to be like too top heavy and I didn't want it like too crazy. But I'm so happy I picked the purple because I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. And last but not least, for the inner corner highlight, we are going to be going in with Jawbreaker right here. And then with this Dampin Luxie 217 pencil brush, I'm just going to be applying this into my inner corner and also bringing it underneath the inner tear duct area as well to open up the eye. But like, girl, this color though is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it, especially with this look. Like, girl, like that is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Ooh, girl, like, my voice is, like, literally not here today. I don't even know why. Like, it's on, like, vacation. It is out of the country. It just does not want to be here today at all. So here's the finished look using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Jawbreaker palette. And let me just say, I had so much fun playing with this palette with you guys today. I mean, like, literally, like, look at this color story. Like, if you love color, like, you're going to have so much fun with this palette. I just really enjoy it. Not to mention, Jeffree's matte, like, formula of his pastel shades is immaculate. So many pastels I have used in the past are just really chalky and just really hard to work with. However, Jeffree's are amazing. They're super buttery, super creamy, and just really pigmented and fun to play with. And I don't know, I just really enjoy this palette, and I really enjoy the look that I created today. So in the comments down below, let me know what you think about this look, and also let me know if you'd like to see more tutorials with this palette. And as always, though, I would really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button down below. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram account is at lethal underscore kitten. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and until next time, bye!